We'll turn to Veronica Monk from Telex in Hungary. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, in the last 10 years, the Hungarian media sphere is became extremely divided by politics and it is becoming harder and harder to access information from state officials. And there are more and more media outlets that has strong connections to politicians and there are less and less independent critical information sources that provide fact-based news and, and quality journalism. That is what we do at Telex and uh, anybody who believes in freedom of press can contribute financially and donate to Telex because this is the largest Hungarian news source that is commun community founded. And my question is, how does the Biden-Harris administration and you as Secretary of State approach the US-Hungarian relationship and how this approach differs from the Trump administration's? And how do you evaluate recent developments in Hungary, especially regarding Russian and Chinese influence, rule of law and media freedom? Th th thanks very much. And let me say a couple of things to that. Um, first, uh, we have real concern um, that is shared by uh, international press freedom advocates and many Hungarians over the uh, decline of media pluralism in, uh, in Hungary. Um, a diversity of independent voices, a diversity of independent opinions, that is the, the fabric of, uh, of democracy. And so we would certainly uh, urge the government of Hungary to promote uh, an open media environment. Um, Europe is undoubtedly a center of uh, geopolitical competition Moscow, like uh, Beijing, is actively working against uh, integration, against uh, the uh, desire of uh, people to uh, uh, associate with whom they want to associate, uh, and uh, is um, seeking in different ways to undermine the democratic and sovereign will of uh, many Central and uh, Southern European countries. So this is a growing concern as well. Um, I think uh, from the perspective of the United States, or for that matter, the European Union, we believe that our collective interests are best served by uh, trying to um, cement democratic norms, uh, rule of law, cooperation based on common values, based on a shared future. And that uh, has to include uh, freedom of expression, freedom of the press. And I would note as well, and a real Irony, and, and irony, of course, is something particularly familiar to uh, uh, Central European friends. Uh, and the irony is that, of course, Hungary uh, for so many decades was uh, constrained, uh, held back uh, in its uh, ability to um, express itself and to have its uh, the opinions of its uh, citizens fully expressed uh, during uh, the period of uh, domination by the Soviet Union. Uh, so to uh, have emerged from that um, only to find uh, now growing uh, concerns about press pluralism uh, is, um, I think, uh, again, uh, ironic may be the wrong word. It's not a sufficient word, but um, I think it runs totally contrary to the history of um, uh, that I think uh, Hungarians would embrace uh, after uh, after so many decades under uh, the domination of uh, uh, of another country that held back freedom of expression and, and freedom of opinion. Having said that, um, let me also say that the United States uh, and, and our administration were committed to working to find ways to strengthen uh, our uh, relations with Hungary, uh, a NATO ally. Uh, and uh, also uh, advancing our commitment to uh, supporting democratic institutions, human rights, uh, and the rule of law. These things should um, should not be incompatible. And we do look forward to, to finding ways to work with Hungary on many issues of mutual interest, uh, particularly in, uh, in the security, law enforcement, economic, and energy areas, but uh, at the same time, make 
uh, very clear both our concerns and our principles when it comes to um, uh, human rights, uh, the strength of democracy and its institutions, and freedom of the press.